Hello everyone, it's Miss Natalie. I know I haven't seen you guys in a long time and a lot has happened since then, but I hope you guys are safe and healthy and I hope that you're loving God more and more every single day. I've been missing you this whole time and I really hope I get to see you soon. Anyways, today we're talking about temptation, which Miss Katie also talked about on Sunday. Temptation is the desire to do something wrong or unwise. We're often tempted to do things like say mean things to one another or lie or steal from other people or even just waste time on things that are unhealthy. I'm sure you guys could think of a lot of other examples of what that would look like too. We're told in the Bible that it's Satan who tempts us to do the wrong thing because he doesn't want the good that God intends for us to come true. He wants to lead us to the wrong choice so that we're led away from God's heart. Fortunately, we also know that Satan was defeated forever when Jesus died on the cross and rose again. Jesus proved he had the power to beat all of the devil's schemes by taking the punishment that was meant for us for our unwillingness to resist temptation, and he forgave us completely for that. So even though Satan still tries to lie and steal from us and destroy us, we can be protected by Jesus. In fact, Jesus himself was tempted by the devil, but he did not sin. Let me read for you guys Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. It says, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. So Jesus hadn't eaten f any food in over a month. And he did that because he wanted to show that he trusted God the Father more than he trusted himself. He needed God's word to fill him and give him strength for what he needed to do. Here's the rest of the story. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down. Jesus answered him, it is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and angels came and attended him. So we see that Jesus time and time again chooses to do the right thing and chooses to trust God before he does the wrong thing that the devil wants him to do. Also, notice something that Jesus says every time he chooses to do the right thing. He says, it is written. That's because Jesus was full of scripture. He knew the Bible better than anyone else. And God's word gave him the clarity to know what was right and true, even when he was being tempted. His example is one that we should follow. Knowing the Bible really well so that we can resist the devil. In fact, our verse for this week is James 4, 7b, which says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Let me show you guys the difference between being able to resist the devil using God's word and not being able to resist the devil. So I want you to think of this piece of paper, this blank piece of paper, as your mind and soul without the word of God. You see there's no truth here, it's really thin, and it's just a blank piece of paper. So what happens when temptations come and attack us when we don't have God's truth in us? It kind of looks like this. And the more and more that these temptations come, we realize that we're unable to fight back. And as you can see, that leads us to become twisted and warped and not who God wants us to be. But let's say this book represents a mind and soul that is full of God's truth. It's just covered in the things that God has said to keep us strong. What happens when temptation comes to us like this? 
it can't do anything. It doesn't affect this kind of person at all. And what we see is, is that truth makes us strong to be able to resist the devil. As you can see, we really need God's word to give us that strength. So I'm challenging you all to get God's word inside of you this week. You can memorize one of these three verses and tell it to Miss Katie on Sunday if you accept the challenge. The three verses are Matthew 26, 41, James 1, 3, and James 4, 7b, which is the verse of our, the week that I just read. So all three of those verses are about resisting temptation, and they can help you when you need to fight. Um, there's a lot of ways that you could be creative with this to make it fun, too. You can sing the verse as a song, or you can make motions to go with the words. You could also have a friend do it with you. Um, you could definitely um, think of your own way to make this something that you can memorize and keep inside your heart. You might, ha you might have to practice it a few times so that it sticks in your head, but it's so worth it. This week, I memorized 1 Peter 1.22, which it says, Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth, so that you have sincere love for your brothers, love one another deeply from the heart. And that verse just reminds me to obey God, um, the truth that he's given me, and love other people using it. So this is something that I know all of you guys can do. Ask someone if you need help finding the verses in the Bible or reading them, and don't feel bad about that. And remember, you can also pray to God to help you to do that. So not only is this a chance to get a prize, but more importantly than that, this is a way to get God's word deep in your heart so that you can resist the devil when he tries to tempt you. That's a skill you can use your whole life long. All right, everyone, good luck with the challenge and goodbye for now.